Today I'm looking at the Yale Assure Lock. This is a unique touchscreen deadbolt. It's really a smart deadbolt made by Yale and August. Uh, Yale is a company that makes uh, many different locks, standard locks, touchscreens, uh, keypad locks, and August also makes their own uh, locks as well. So this product is a combination of the two companies working together uh, and what August does is they have a little module that you can install in the deadbolt that basically enhances the functionality of the Yale uh, deadbolt. So this deadbolt comes in three color options. Um, I've chose the satin nickel because it, I thought it blends better with my door and uh, door handle. I was keeping the existing door handle and the door handle that I have already has a similar type of uh, nickel finish to it. Now um, it also comes in a like a darker bronze color um, and then also a uh, you know gold brass color. So depending on your door those are your options. I really like the design and the look of this deadbolt uh, compared to a lot of other smart deadbolts that you see. Um, the actual touch screen uh, it does have some coating on there to, to help limit fingerprints and things like that. So the lock comes in uh, two uh, pieces basically. Um, you have the, the back and the front and uh, there's a back plate as well that you install. It comes with all the uh, accessories that you need to install it, um, batteries, uh, screws, strike plate, everything that you need is in the box um, and all you really need is a is a screwdriver to, to set everything up. So what you get by having the August module in your deadbolt is you get functionality for example like uh, Amazon Alexa, Apple HomeKit, Google uh, products can be integrated as well so you could actually like you know speak to the lock for example like with Google you could you know tell Google to unlock the door if you wanted to things like that um, it also has a uh, functionality that uh, can uh, know when you're at home or not so for example if say you are leaving the house and you have the app set up on your phone uh, if you get a certain amount of distance away from your home the module will will be able to see your location and automatically lock the door for example um, and then on the other side of it when you're actually coming home it'll detect your location and once you get close to home it'll actually unlock the door for you. Yale also has another product available that is similar to this one but instead of being uh, powered by August it is powered by Nest. So um, you could use your Nest app to actually uh, communicate with your deadbolt. Um, the reason why I chose to go with this uh, Yale product is that it actually still has a physical key and in my opinion it is still uh, a good backup to have. The downside with the Yale Nest uh, deadbolt is that there is no key, it's only a touch screen. Um, now it does have a fail safe in there so for example if the batteries were to die in your Yale Nest product you can get a 9 volt battery and put it underneath it and give it a little, a little bit of juice to get you in. That only works though if the battery dies. If something else goes wrong with the deadbolt, um, the screen or some other you know uh, component inside the um, deadbolt itself, well you can't get in your house. So the first step really is to take off your existing deadbolt. When installing you want to make sure uh, that you look inside and there's an indicator um, it says up. Uh, that should be the right way up and it should be pointing up. Keep in mind if you are going to use your existing strike plate, you have to make sure it will actually work with the Yale deadbolt. Every strike plate's a little different, so if you do want to use your existing dead, uh, strike plate uh, with your Yale deadbolt, you make definitely make sure you test it first to make sure everything's going to line up fine. And then once it's all in, you can just start screwing in the two screws on the side of the door and, and it's all good. And then Basically, you want to get the back plate um, and then the front part in there, uh, and then basically line it up and start, you know, tweaking a little bit and then putting your screws in. I'm using a little bat battery one here um, just because I, it makes it a little quicker, but don't tighten it too much because you are going to have to make a little adjustments and uh, level it up. Um, I used an actual little mini level to make sure I'm, you know, all centered and everything. and and then you have to feed the wire through and there's a little cutout there where you can push the wire to the side 
and uh, that won't interfere with uh, the front piece on the inside that you're going to have to connect the actual wire to. And this wire is a little bit of a pain. You got to make sure you get it a good handle on it. It only goes in one way. If you're finding you're having trouble, don't force it because the wire can only go in one way. And then it's just a simple matter of you know uh, tucking the wire in a little bit more along the side and making sure that the the, the lock is is unlocked and then lining it up and then there's basically three, three screws that you use and you put those in and again uh, you know you might need to you know make a few adjustments but it's that simple uh, and then the screws are in and then then you're you're basically uh, all ready to go and you just have to put the batteries in Included in the box is obviously instruction manuals. There is a August module that you install into the back once you have everything set up. Uh, and then there's also a, a separate uh, Bluetooth wireless uh, device that you plug into an outlet. And you have to make sure you plug it in close to your door so that the module can communicate with uh, the Bluetooth um, uh, powered uh, device as well. Of course, you know, before tightening everything, make sure you test the door lock first. Uh, there's no point in getting everything set up and then you know trying to close the door and locking it and then it's not lined up, it doesn't work. I tested on the inside, I tested on the outside, and I also tested using the app once I had the app set up just to make sure everything was working as it should. So I've had the deadbolt for a good week now. There's a little warning message that pop up, pops up that says if you are on an Android device, there are some known issues with the app and the deadbolt. Um, and they actually recommend that you use an iPhone. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So it does work better with iPhones than Androids. And I have experience with that because what I've noticed is that the auto unlock is a little finicky on Android phones. Downloading the app was simple. You have to sign up for an account with them, which is, you know, standard process for a lot of these apps. And then it, it has a little walkthrough. I got to the point where it wanted me to press a button on the inside of the deadbolt that doesn't, that didn't exist, the enrollment button. The button that's on the inside is a privacy button. So pressing that during the setup process of this app does nothing. Fortunately, we found a support document on the website um, that helped clarify the, the process. So what I've done in this little review is I've put a link in the description so you can see that if you're having the same trouble I had. So with the app, it has uh, some neat features where you can set up smart notifications. It does tracking so you can see a history of you know when your door was opened, when it was locked. And if you have multiple users, you can see who it was. You can set up additional uh, custom codes for people. So for example, you could have um, a contractor. If you want to give them a temporary code, you can set that up for them. And you can even invite them through the app uh, on their phone so they don't even need to have um, a code for example and um, and then as soon as you don't they don't need to have access to your house anymore you can delete delete it and then they that code is no longer um, there for them to use there is also a master code that you can set um, and that's the master code is what you set when you initially set it up um, and you know so you could have multiple people in your family can have their own code for example, um, which is kind of neat. Another thing the Yale comes with is a thing called DoorSense, and it's a little white um, device that you can mount next to your door, and it needs to be about one, one and a half inches away from the door itself, and you have to sort of line it up to where uh, the August module is um, at the top of the, of the back um, piece. And basically what you can do is you can either mount it on the um, frame itself, so you could drill a hole into the frame and put it in there um, and screw it in, or you could actually have it on the outside, inside your house, lined up around around the door frame. Um, so you have those two options. Um, basically what the door sense does is it's a way to tell you if your door is left open. 
uh, for example, or if it's like left ajar. So if you're like me and you love technology, then this is kind of an easy buy, especially if you're, you know, finding, well, maybe it's time to upgrade my deadbolt. You know, maybe you have just a really basic one or maybe you have like an old, you know, rubber, you know, touchscreen one that the numbers are fading and things like that. It's great for, you know, families. Uh, so you don't have to worry about, you know, did the kids leave the door unlocked? Or, you know, maybe even when you're on a family trip and you, you know, you're packing and you, you f kind of forget, did I lock the door? Like, you know, things like that, you know, you don't have to worry about with this. And then you can have all the histories. So you can see when every, you know, who's been coming and going to the house. Um, if uh, you, you can see if there, how many attempts were made, like if someone was trying to break into your house, you can see how many failed attempts there were, you know, to try, to try and get in the house. It even has a security feature where you can um, lock people out. So for example, uh, by default, it's set five times. So if, if five times the code is entered wrong, it'll actually lock down the lock for one minute now and you can even customize the time frame so if you want to lock it out longer you can and you can also increase the the number of failed attempts as well so it has a lot of customization and I think it has a lot of longevity to it um, so as long as there's no technical problem then you know it should be something that you get a lot of use out of so I, I think it's a you know for any modern home I think this is a must-buy